Alright, so this is how I go about making a skinny tie from a really thick tie. The one on the right is a tie I made skinny uh, for my wedding. It was, it was actually as wide as the one on the left, which is four inches wide. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this one on the left to a skinny tie. To do that, start by measuring how thick you want the tie. Like I mentioned, the one on the right is two inches and the one on the left is four inches. Once you have the measurement down, you're going to want to turn the tie over. If you notice, at the base of the tie, there's a little spool of thread. This basically holds the thread and prevents the, prevents the thread from unwinding. So what you're going to want to do is start by grabbing a little knife or something like this to start cutting the thread from behind the tie. There's also usually a tie stay on the back of the tie. This prevents the small part of the tie from flopping around. You're going to want to remove that as well. I originally planned on just removing one side of it, but realized I had to remove it in the end because of how skinny I'm making the tie. Then continue working your way up throughout the, to the midpoint of the tie. Um, it's all one continuous thread, so you can technically do this by just pulling on each piece, but every once in a while it's nice to be able to cut the thread along the way. You can usually tell when you get to the midpoint of the tie because there's usually a vertical seam along the, the tie where the two pieces of fabric are sewn together. This is as far as you're going to want to cut the threading. Once there, lay the tie back down and open up the two flaps. You'll notice a thick piece of fabric located in the center of the tie. You can pull that piece out and this is what we will measure to make the dimensions for our soon-to-be skinny tie. Pull out your ruler or measuring tape and mark off the thickness you want the tie to be. Be sure to pull down the marking to the base of the angle. I'm using a pen, a marker would also do, but mark, make markings within there, indicating how wide the tie will be. Next, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna get a long piece of flat wood, whether a ruler, for me, I had to use a, sh a piece of the shelf from my family room. You're gonna lay that aside and then mark with the pen all the way up to the center point of the tie. Continue to do the other side as well. You can now see where the markings are and how the tie should be shaped. It helps to remove the tie away from the fabric so you don't cut, accidentally cut the tie. Take the scissors and again begin cutting along these lines that you created. Clean up the edges if you need to. And now begin to straighten the tie along the fabric and place that thicker piece of fabric back inside that little pocket again. Make sure the corner is down as deep as possible. Now fold over the fabric on one side making sure you fill the thickness of the fabric underneath the tie fabric. This will be the new ironing point that we'll use for the tie. Hold in place while you place the iron. If using silk like I am, make sure your iron is on the silk setting as you don't want to melt the fabric. Once that side is done, 
unfold the fabric and now fold over the other end and continue that same process. By folding over one end of the fabric and feeling the fabric, you can feel the thick piece of fabric underneath. This will give you a gauge as far as where you need to cut along the fabric. There are definitely better ways to do this, probably by measuring exactly the places you want to cut. But because this side is going to be covered up, I just kind of eyeballed it. Double check to make sure you cut off enough fabric. If not, unfold and trim as needed. Follow this same step again by folding over the other piece of fabric. If you'll notice on the far right, you'll see a fold along the fabric. This is really important and really helps with the sewing process. So when removing the fabric, leave a little bit of excess so that you can make this fold in the future, as you will see. From these two cuts, you now have excess flap within this pouch. So I'm just removing the top portion of this pouch. Start at the top of the tie and start to bend and iron that crease that, will, like I mentioned, will be useful when we begin to sew the tie back together. Fold the tie to its soon to be new position and iron in place. This will help tremendously with the sewing process. Place the thread through the eye of the needle. Good luck with this. This was probably my fifth attempt. and be sure to pull out enough thread that it can be one continuous piece. Tie a knot at one end of the thread. We're gonna start by building that little spool I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Start by putting it upwards so that knot you just created is hidden underneath the tie. And now begin to rotate around and around by going in both flaps of the fabric. It's a little difficult to see, but about every half inch you're going to want to go in through the base of the flap and come out. And then when you're coming through the top portion, along that seam that, or that flap that you ironed, you're going to want to hover your needle in between that flap, making sure not to come too high or too low before you pull that needle out. Again, another half of an inch. Continue this process all the way through to the halfway point of the tie. Again, there are definitely probably better ways to do this, but what I do is I take the original end of the thread and the new end that I just created, and I'm just gonna tie a little square knot, right over left, left over right. Cut the thread and hide the existing thread underneath the flap. Out of sight, out of mind. Before turning the tie over, go through one more time with the iron to make sure everything is firmly in place. You now have your very own homemade skinny tie. Here's a shot of the two ties side by side. Thanks for watching.